How do I intro this? Um. <sighs> All right. Hi, my name is Big DC. You can call me DC, and this is my review. This is the Modelo Wireless Three Months. No. What's up, guys? My name is Big DC, and today we're going to be talking about the Modelo Wire Model <laughs> Modelo Wireless Three Months Later. All right. So this Modelo Wireless thumbnail. Maybe, I have no idea. Where do I begin? Overall performance. I reviewed the Model Wireless when I first got it back in the start of the year around January. It was a great mouse. It is, it's still a great mouse and it is my main mouse. It is currently my main mouse. Disclaimer, I am not a pro gamer so I can't really tell you if the mouse is great for like, for being a pro. Because I know a lot of pro players are using like Zowie, or like the Logitech Super Light, which is new. And I can't really tell you anything about that. All I'm telling you is the perspective from just a regular competitive gamer, somebody who plays ranked over so often or just plays unrated a lot. So like, yeah, that's me. The mouse is great. I have no complaints. If you guys want a detailed comparison between the three mice that I have, which is the Logitech G304 and the Viper Mini, I have that on my blog. I'm gonna be linking that down below and you can check it over there. But overall, I really like the mouse. It's really nice for my hand size. I am like a medium hand size, maybe a little bit between medium and large. And battery life is okay. It will last you the whole day if you uh, charge it, maybe even two days. I've gone for like a whole three days without charging it but ever so often. I find myself needing to charge it doesn't take that long so like if I find myself having to need to charge it it would I would just plug it in it would charge after a game or two it would be full charge maybe 30 40 minutes for it to full charge but after after like 10 minutes is really usable already so you can just uh, charge it for 10 minutes five minutes and then you just use it again for the game what I found myself doing is always have a plan B so on my desk I have the Model O Wireless and the Logitech G304 uh, just in case. So when the Model O needs to charge, I have the Logitech on the side to use if something happens, right? Because sometimes I forget to charge the Model O, so I have to use the Logitech. Things that I don't like about it. So one of the things that I don't like about it is some of the things that I experienced uh, around two, one or two months down. When I was using it, it has a squeaky scroll wheel. I don't know if you can hear that. You can't hear it while you're in game, but if you don't have headphones on, and you're just scrolling on the internet, you can hear that and it kind of starts being annoying. It also has a squeaky right click sometimes, but I can't really repeat it as much as the scroll. And the scroll is really bad. Uh, I don't know if it's just my copy or uh, people, like some people don't have it. I have a friend who has one that doesn't have it, I have another friend that has it, one that does have it, so like it's really weird. Uh, the right click, I'm, I think I'm the only one from my friends that got it that have the squeaky right click. Just like my Logitech, it's my hand started polishing the matte finish on the mouse. So yeah, that's 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 a thing. So my hand is, is fairly rough, so when I use it over time, it starts polishing the matte finish and it becomes glossy so yeah i'm gonna show you guys a side by side of the logitech and the model o for that one uh, for the size i really like the size it's not as it's not as it's not small compared to the my smallest feeling mouse is the viper mini if you guys remember i compared the viper mini and the Logitech 301 the viper mini although they have the same dimensions as the logitech the viper mini felt smaller so I tended to not use it at all. Whereas the Logitech, it's the same dimensions as the Viper Mini, but it's bigger. This mouse, however, is way bigger. It, f it fills up my hand a lot more. <laughs> Weird. I like it more. It, it, I can control it a little better than the Logitech 304 for my hand size. And yeah, a month in, I found myself going back and forth between the Logitech and the Model O, just because I was trying to feel which one would be better. I didn't want to believe that the Logitech was better 
for me because it's a tiny mouse and it's a cheap mouse but i'm gonna tell you what they, they're they're somewhat equal for me i can perform the same with both of them so i'd say if you're debating on whether or not you should get the logitech 304 logitech g304 or the model model of wireless and it's coming down to the price i would get the logitech g304 just because the price difference is way too high and the logitech g304 is a really good mouse you can't really go wrong with it the battery life on the logitech g304 is legendary i've never needed to change the battery for months so like yeah another thing that i don't like about the model o wireless i think this is known already but the holes on the perforations i don't want to call it holes for the perforations on the mouse uh build up dust over time so i have a little brush on my desk i just use it to just dust away all of the the stuff i also have a blower for my lenses that i use i just blow the dust off of it every now and then and just to keep it looking pretty clean so for the upgrades at first i was using the supplied cable charge it every time i needed to charge it but i realized that it was annoying so what i did was i bought a wireless not a wireless it's like a, the magnetic type c cable that you can buy and then i found out that you can just stick the magnetic part on the end and just leave it there and then i found myself just using that to charge it it was a lot less of a hassle to charge so i got that and it also 3d printed a charging stand for it if you guys want to find out how i did that or how i made that comment down below it was a good experience by the way if i have a spare mouse and i needed to charge the mouse it would be nice to have it off the mat and having my spare mouse have all the space that it needs so yeah comparisons so i already did a comparison earlier for the logitech g304 and the model o uh, they're very much the same for me. It's just the weight difference and the size difference Also a price difference if it's coming down to the price uh, the, the model O really is a premium mouse Although it has those tiny quirks that I talked about earlier You can't really hear it while you're in game especially if you have headphones or earphones for me I don't really I don't really notice it when I'm gaming So it's not really a problem for me It might be a problem for some people or it might not even problem. It might not be a problem in general because some people don't even have it if i were a new gamer and I didn't want to spend like the four thousand pesos or five thousand pesos on the logitech on the model o i would get logitech it's a good beginner mouse for anybody who's getting into uh, fps gaming or even moba gaming it's a it's a fairly light mouse uh, the battery life is insane and yeah it's a, it's an overall really good mouse for for anything it's my it's my i would say it's a plan B for me, but I would more rather call it like this is like A plus and like the Logitech would be A minus because they're so close for me. Uh, between this and the Viper Mini, I would still, I won't even touch the Viper Mini. I, I don't even touch it anymore. The Viper Mini is up on a box on the shelf because I can't go back to a wired mouse at all. Uh, the Viper Mini for me is just the thought of the wire, even though I don't feel the wire when I'm trying to use it, the thought of the wire is there and it, it it subconsciously I think about the wire. So for me just having the wireless, both wireless mice is a really nice thing to have. Especially if you have like a tiny desk and you have a lot of stuff on your desk, I have a very very messy desk. So if you have that, it's a good idea to have a wireless mouse. Viper Mini or the Model O, I would go for the Model O. Between the three of them, the Viper Mini, the Logitech and the Model O, I would the, the hierarchy would be the Model O, Logitech, and then last place would, would be the Viper Mini. I think the only people that would like the Viper Mini are those that believe in the wired master race. Some people believe that the uh, wired is still better than wireless. I wholly disagree. Wireless is, is pretty good and wireless has gotten pretty good over the years. And right now, I feel like wireless is gonna be the way to go into the future the wire is gonna be a hindrance for most gamers going forward it's gonna it's gonna be a drag literally <laughs> overall the model o was a is a really good mouse uh, i would say a minus because it still has those quirks that i mentioned earlier it's a really good mouse i really like it still i still use it. it's still my main mouse and uh, yeah if you guys have any questions comments violent reactions tell me down below 
I'll try to answer all of them if I can and yeah next video is probably gonna be uh, about 3d printing or like if you guys uh, if you guys want to find out what I did to my GPU because my GPU shroud died so I I, I I I designed something to fix that so yeah I might I might do a video on that after I do like my 3d printing beginners experience I guess so like yeah you guys enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like comment and share if you don't it's fine I don't it's, it's okay so like yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video Alam.